What's good YouTube? In this video, we'll be taking a look at how you can lock your photos on your iPhone with a passcode. If you like this kind of content or find this kind of content helpful, leave a message down below, hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching. So the ability to lock photos or files on your iPhone with a passcode or face ID or some other form of security isn't default on the iPhone and you can't find it available in any feature in iOS. There's some workarounds involved some other features with accessibility and guided access on your iPhone. However, true passcode protection on a photo isn't yet available as a feature on iOS. Thankfully though, there are some third-party apps that offer pretty much exactly what we're looking for in terms of a simple passcode to protect certain photos on your phone. And the app that we're looking for here is KeepSafe, available for free on the App Store. So what you want to do is head into the App Store and look for KeepSafe. Once you download it, you'll be prompted to create an account using your email. And then from there, I'll be asking you for your passcode. You'll note that this passcode is a different passcode than if you have a passcode activated for your iPhone. This is the passcode that will be prompted each and every time that you want to access your protected photos. And it's different than the passcode if you use one to lock your phone. So once you choose a passcode here, you'll be prompted to select some photos from your iPhone photos to add into the KeepSafe vault. So what you want to do is select those photos that you would like to protect. After you add them to the KeepSafe vault, you'll actually have an option to delete them from your phone altogether. You'll want to keep in mind that if you don't delete them, anyone that has access to your phone that can access your iPhone photos will be able to see your vaulted images. So you actually might want to delete them once you get a hang of this app. So, once you have the apps in the KeepSafe vault, if you exit the app or just go back to the home screen, you'll notice that in order to access the KeepSafe vault, again, you have to access your passcode. So this means that any photos that you add into the KeepSafe vault are now passcode protected. You can repeat this process if you want to add more photos from your iPhone gallery into the KeepSafe vault using the same passcode. So there you have it everyone, just a quick and easy third party app that allows you to very efficiently add some photos into a vault that's protected by a passcode of your choosing. If you found this video helpful or if you know of another solution or workaround for passcode protecting your photos, leave a message down below. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching.